Hey guys, this is Carlos with CNC Aquariums, and we're here again at the Richard Aficionado Channel's main headquarters, and we're going to be talking about Neptune's FMK, which we're going to be installing today on his system. So Neptune came out with a cool new module to add to their line of uh, controlling system, and that's the FMK, the Flow Monitoring Kit. So the question is, why do you need a uh flow monitoring kit on your aquarium the, the answer is you don't need it however if you're like me and likes toys and, and likes adding controllability uh, to see and know everything that's going on with your aquarium this is a cool neat product that you can put on there um, it's going to help you with things such as your uv sterilizer knowing the manufacturer recommended flow rate and if you're anywhere near that or higher or lower whatever you may want um, if you're out of town or away from home and your GFO is clogging from that reactor, you can get a notification. Or how about if you have a leak in the tank and there's some water spilling, it's got monitors and pads that you can put on there that will tell you if there's a leak around your, your, your sump area. So there's a lot of really neat, cool features here that you can use with the FMK module and uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. All right guys, so we got the FMK module hooked up uh, well, along with the one inch and the two half inch monitors and the leak detector. We plugged it into the energy bar and it almost immediately it popped up on Richard's Apex Fusion platform and uh, he put it, he arranged it, the tiles uh, with uh, the way he likes it aesthetically and, and where he finds it to be easy, easy to view. But uh, pretty quickly we're able to already start monitoring what the uh, Vectra L1 that he's got running his system is pumping through the tank uh, after the, it splits off from the manifold as well as the UV and one of his reactors. Uh, Richard keeps uh, Chemipure Elite in the reactor so it's a very much, much finer type of media so it's a lot slower of a rate that we're running through there just so that it doesn't pump back into the aquarium. Um, but you can easily see on the Apex Fusion exactly where you monitor those three things. And obviously you can add to them, subtract, um, it's endless amount of possibilities you have with this system here. So you guys are probably asking, well, Richard's running a Vectra L1 pump that uh, is generally about 3,100 gallons per hour. Well, he's only running it at 70% max power so we're not utilizing the full capacity of the pump as well as the fact is only part of it is going to the tank the other part is to feed the uh, manifold which includes the uv the chemipure elite reactor or gfo reactor as well as the carbon reactor so um, that's why you won't see the full gallon per hour here because we're not uh, us utilizing all from the uh, the vectra all right guys, just to recap, we went ahead and installed Neptune's new FMK module and uh, utilized a couple of the flow monitoring kits on Richard's plumbing. And uh, right off the bat, we found one of its versatile uh, usages in the fact that in moving some of the reactors and stuff, we actually kinked the line and didn't note it. And we were getting a zero gallon per hour reading and uh, it indicated to us that there was a problem in the in the flow so we went looking around and just because of moving things around we found that one of the vinyl tubings were kinked and wasn't letting any flow to the reactor so just one of the many things that this is going to help you out in um, utilizing in the middle of a maintenance schedule or whatever it may be just to make sure your tank is up and running at top notch as much as possible um, as well as all the different things that you can add to the fluid monitoring kit it's, uh, it's a great versatile addition to an already great product of the Neptune Apex and the Apex Fusion. Very easy to use, very easy to uh, hook up, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, this is Carlos Machin with CNC Aquariums and uh, Richard Aficionado Channel. Until next time. Yeah, I agree with the best. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Blooper. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to start from the L1 part. All right.
So the question may be, well, uh, Richard is, la 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 la, uh oh. <laughs> 